will God find room in our world? The answer was given at one point in history with the crucifixion. There is no room. There is no one at the crucifixion to shout for Jesus. There is no one on his side. All you hear are the words, crucify him, crucify him. The way of Jesus Christ, however, is the way of God. A way of God that has very little room in this world for that way of living. We're told in scripture, the foxes have holes, the birds have nests, but the Son of Man has absolutely nowhere to call home. Today we hear in the gospel, Mary's yes. Let it be done to me according to your word. I will give you room, God. But we know that yes from our Blessed Mother. We know that that yes from any one of us comes with an enormous price tag. <clears throat> Mary, and for her child, that price tag we know. All we have to do is look at the image of the Pietà, with our Blessed Mother holding her dead son in her arms. We know the price that broke her heart for following God's way and bringing Christ into the world. We also see a God that was very vulnerable, just a very small, baby. We know what happens to babies on the margins of society. We know what happens to the despised and the rejected within our culture, within our world. We look at what happens to those that are sinners and sometimes those who are saints who somehow believe that God's way does provide them an answer. And we find these people in the obscurity of Galilee, of Bethlehem, of Nazareth. But we also will find them today in Louisville, in North Camp, and in Camp. The Lord tells us that the Lord will lift up the lowly and fill the hungry with good things. We see so many in our world brought low by poverty, by the dehumanization that comes because of poverty, because of unemployment, because of all the things that touch the lives of people. We see the loneliness that comes and the degradation that comes through addictions and drug, uh, through drugs and sex and alcohol. Name any addiction. We see the hungry people, the homeless people, the least and the lost among us. And the Lord says, I'm going to fill them with good things. And so the Lord looks at us today and says, do we have room in our lives for all of those lowly? Do we have room in our lives for all of those who are hungry? Because the Lord asks us, do we have room? Can we say yes? God in our world extends certainly beyond Christmas Day. <clears throat> and going beyond Christmas Day, journeying beyond that, the Lord will continually ask us each and every day, can we say yes? And will you and will I 
make room for God in this world that so desperately needs to know a loving and a forgiving God. God bless you.